A very good day to you people. My name is Mohit and guys, I have a question for you. You do you think fruits make you fat? I see it all the time. Whether I'm on Guru Man's channel, Guru Man Fitness, I think that's his channel, or whether I'm on Ranveer's uh, beer biceps. Um they all advise you to limit the fruit. Uh <clears throat> as if it was some devil. But you really think there is some truth here? It deeply saddens me. It hurts me. You see the he- the longest living cultures with uh, you know longevity with great life spans people hitting um, 100 years or more people living up to 130 140 145 the hunzas the okinawans in japan they have a carb heavy diet a starch heavy diet not a protein heavy diet or or, or fat heavy diet i want you to hear out dr uh Garth Davis the author of proteinaholic and let's hear out his views on fruits and vegetables especially fruits let's see what he has to say uh and i see this all the time okay so i'll take my kids here are my kids my my beautiful girls uh and there they are eating their crudite at lunch and i'll be with friends and their friend will be sitting next to them eating this okay but here's the crazy thing about it all right my friend will say to me Aren't you worried about what your kids are eating? I'll be like, "What do you mean? I mean, your kids eating a hot dog. A hot dog is a class 1 carcinogen. You might as well give them a cigarette." And they'll be like, "Yeah, but I know, but aren't you worried that they're eating too much fruit because all of a sudden fruit on the internet is bad for you." Let me tell you something right now. If a doctor or a nutritionist or a website says fruit is bad for you, you can walk out of that office. All right? Because there has never been a single published literature that says that fruit is bad for you. Fruit is fantastic for you. It's so good for you. Their kids are eating no fruit whatsoever. My kids are eating fruit and they've got the nerve to ask me whether my kids are are doing okay. And really what what it comes down to, they're worried that your kids are eating too many carbs. Right? It's all carbs. Aren't they going to get fat on carbs? It, <laughs> carbs do not make you fat. All right? Carbs do not make you fat. Carbs are yeah, the stupidity burns anytime t- someone tells me this that carbs make you fat. Because if you know science, you know that the the, the healthiest diets in the world are carb heavy. You'll hear people talk a lot about the 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 Mediterranean diet, right? Mediterranean diet is the best diet. That's what people tell you. Well, what is the Mediterranean diet? It is a very carb heavy diet. With, yes, it's we do. <laughs> so what we've decided to do is we want to transform healthcare. And what we are going to be doing starting in just a few weeks is we've developed something called the pharmacy box, which is F A R M A C Y, pharmacy. Farm a C box. Right. Um because I am well connected with a lot of the farms here in Houston and I distribute foods. Rothler Organic is been such a huge powerful tool in trying to shape and shift the city in the way that it eats produce. We're feeding more than 800 families a week right now and with the help of Dr. Garth it's going to grow even more because now what we're going to do is we're going to start delivering our produce boxes to this hospital, to this clinic because Dr. Garth is going to be writing a prescription for fruits and vegetables instead of drugs. Right, and it's not my feeling is again not just for the patients but also for the doctors so what we're going to be doing cuz doctors give out their medications through prescription pads and when a patient gets a prescription pad they feel like they have a treatment and something's being done for them and so what we're going to do is we're now going to start writing prescriptions and if you could see this pad here it actually says take 5 servings of fruit and vegetables a day and it says redeem this at a Rothley organic co-op and so what's going to happen is what I'm going to give these to my different doctor friends and associates here at Memorial City Hospital and I want them to write this if they have a patient with high cholesterol and they're giving cholesterol medications I also want them to prescribe fruits and vegetables because Sugar has been making headlines as of late with celebrities and trainers alike singling it out as one of the key culprits in the world's obesity crisis. Trouble is fruits, is it really? Because it contains natural sugars, sometimes get lumped in with foods like big goods, candy and a sugary drink and as a result unnecessarily shunned. 
but apart from impressive nutrients fresh fruit is high in water and fiber so it's naturally occurring sugar is less concentrated than other sweet foods that's the truth the water and fiber content of fruits considerably increases levels of fullness this leads to a lower calorie intake through the day assisting in weight loss and fat loss fruits cut out cravings for unhealthy foods in a test 17 people were made to eat 20 servings of fruits uh, a day despite the extraordinarily high fructose content of this diet uh presumably about 200 grams per day eight cans of soda were the investigators reported no adverse effect and possible benefit actually for weight loss uh for body weight uh blood pressure insulin and lipid levels after 3 to 6 months more recently jenkins and colleagues put people on about a 20 servings of fruit a day for a few weeks and found no adverse effect on weight or a blood pressure or triglycerides and an astounding 38 point drop in ldl cholesterol it's like chikus mangoes bananas have caloric density in the range of um, 200 to 400 calories per pound and that's actually caloric dilute if something has a caloric density of less than 5 6 7 you can eat it abundantly frequently uh at libitum at libitum which means up to one's pleasure up to one's desire as much as you want so fruits don't make you fat and even high sugar fruits do not make you fat you have a good day bye bye peace